access the effusion in the other. So I'm going to put a bit of local and setting. Now we've got two open and suture, and we're going to secure the, the chest drain. Throwing a piece of wood, the nail in a piece of wood has gone through. This video shows a technique for reduction of an anterior shoulder dislocation. This young man has an anterior shoulder dislocation and it's been judged that he is too muscular and in too much discomfort to do this under gas and air, in other words entonox. So we're going to do this under procedural sedation using propofol. So here's propofol being prepared the standard procedural sedation techniques are being followed here. He's been consented and fasting has been checked. He has the necessary monitoring, necessary number of staff available to supervise this, etc. And this is being done in a resuscitation area. So here's the propofol being given and then sufficient time is going to be allowed for that to work before the shoulder is manipulated. We're now ready to undertake the procedure. Countertraction is being provided by the operator on the elbow whilst an assistant provides upward traction on the head of the humerus. The arm is externally rotated, often that's sufficient, what's known as a Milch method for the reduction, but in other cases the arm needs to be adducted across the body and internally rotated in a Cocker's method. But in this case, the head of the humerus has returned just on external rotation. <laughs> 